Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Hess, a.k.a. Manho, a.k.a. Swaggy J. And I like... Y'all already know the rest. But, uh, man. This gameplay, I'm bringing y'all a nuclear on the new map, Skyjack. This is part of the Awakening DLC for Black Ops 3. And I already know what you guys are going to say. Justin, how do you feel about the new DLC? Blah, 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 all that. But, um, to give you guys my honest opinion, um, I honestly feel like the DLC is great. Uh, I would say my favorite map is probably Skyjacked. Um, I like Splash, but the only problem is that it's kind of too big, and there's too many camp spots. And Rise, it's, you know, it, that map is just completely too big. I don't really like it too much. And what's the other map? Gauntlet. I like Gauntlet. I do like that there's a three-lane that the, the three lane method where it's the urban, and then it's the snow, and then it's the jungle. I do like that. And I do pretty good on that map uh, most of the time. It's the only problem is that people be camping in the little, in the jungle part, camping behind the trees over there, like looking like Tarzan for no reason. But other than that, I think the DLC, it was it was pretty good. It was a pretty solid DLC. My only problem now is that I, I really think that they put skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty with the new patch update and the new DLC. Because before, before the DLC came out, I was getting like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was getting noob lobbies like pretty often, and I'm a master prestige like rank like 180, 181 or something like that, and I was still getting like scrubs. But like now, ever since the DLC been put in the game, I'm just getting like really just tryhards like dudes that's like really like sweating like like thumbs is really sweating on the thumbsticks tryhard like and it's. It's kind of irritating because some, day, some days I just really just want to have like a casual day playing Call of Duty and I can't even do that because every match it's literally uh, like an MLG battle and that's, that's stressful and it's irritating and I don't really understand why developers would put skill based matchmaking back in the game when Call of Duty Black Ops 3 doesn't need it. Everybody loves Black Ops 3. Yes, it's better than the other two Call of Duties that came out. But now since skill-based matchmaking is in, it feels as if I'm playing AW all over again. And it's, it, I don't like it. Like, it's really irritating. Because some days I just want to play Call of Duty casually. But I can't even do that now because every match is literally just a try-hard battle. And I feel like I'm freaking in the gladiator days or something. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. I don't know what the hell I was talking about on that one. But, like, other than that, the DLC is good. Um... I do like Black Ops 3. It, it really is a good game. I feel like they did a great job with the weapon balancing and all that other stuff. But hopefully as as people get the DLC and time goes by, people actually learn the maps and actually move around and have aggressive movement. Because now, <clears throat> excuse me, ever since the DLC dropped, everybody's just camping in corners on this map. Like even Skyjack, like people are always camping in that building across, like just waiting for people to come in. It's like, dude, Skyjack is hijacked from Black Ops 2. I know you played hijack, so you know the map. The only thing that's different is you can wall run now and, and wall jump through windows. There's nothing different. The map is still the same, so I don't know why you're camping. So it's just, and it's just irritating. It's like, bro, can you please just move around? Like, the type of campers that I get is the people that just literally sit in a doorway or sit in a window and just hold their sights up the whole time until I come around the corner. I get those players, and I'm left like, dog, how is that fun? Like, how is not moving fun for you? How do you get a kick out of not moving? I never understood that. Like, me personally, I tried to camp, and it just doesn't fit me. Like, it's really not entertaining. Like, I could go negative, but it doesn't matter. I'll still keep moving. Like, I, I don't care. I could go 0-30, and, and I'm still gonna keep moving. I'm never gonna stoop down to just not moving at all and just camping and sitting in the corner. But what I also noticed is that they did a little hot fix. I think it was like two or three days ago. And they actually fixed the hit detector, I mean, hit indicator bug. Like, you see, did you guys see that? Like, whenever I'm shooting at somebody, the, it's like the, the little hit marker is like moving or like jiggling. They actually fixed that. And I, I actually thought it was kind of cool at first. I didn't really see it as a problem in the game, but I guess they thought it was, so they fixed it. And uh, I think they also fixed some other stuff. I'm not too sure, though. I'll get back to you guys on that one. But uh, we're actually getting close to getting nuclear. And this is when things get really intense for me. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. My, my heart was like racing, especially when it got to this part. Because it was like, we we're at 82 kills, and I know that I'm close to the nuclear. And I'm like, please. And then when as soon as I killed him, 
I was like, whew, man, we got the nuclear. I could just calm down, chill out, you know, and then I just got melted. Damn. Lord have mercy. But that's going to be the end of the gameplay, y'all. Thank you guys for the opportunity watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because it sure does help the channel out greatly. Hope you guys all have a blessed day and see all you guys tomorrow. Peace. Accord. I, I'm a king cobra, crosses over shooting, jumping, shooting, prayer floaters, dad is in the bleachers, cheering for me, hitting crunch time, shots making a...